Hey everyone! In this video, I wanted to talk a bit about how I created and published my first book. Um, the book is called The Gods of Ancient Egypt. It's sort of a guide to some of the main gods of Egypt. I really enjoyed making this book and I feel super lucky that I was able to make it and publish it myself. Um, I was fascinated by ancient Egypt as a kid, so this is definitely like a dream come true for me. <laughs> Um, so, when I started this project, I set a date for when it needed to be published, since I was publishing this on my own. Um, I started in September and completed it in about mid-December. I find long-term projects to be a bit difficult to complete sometimes, since I get easily distracted. <laughs> um, but this time, I found some other methods that helped me stay focused and meet my publishing goal. I made a list of all the gods I wanted to include, and from there I broke down my process. I printed out the list and marked each step with a different color to make it easy to keep track of, um, and to make it a bit more fun to mark off. <laughs> After I had made my plan and organized, I researched and wrote my book first. I just made a simple first draft and added as much info I could find about each god, while still keeping things fairly simple. I made this book for all ages, and I wanted to keep it art-focused, so it didn't need to be too wordy. After researching and writing, I got to work on sketching each page. I interpreted each of the gods based on their description, and I took inspiration from other artwork as well. For some of the gods, I had a clear image of what I wanted them to look like, and for others it was a bit more difficult. But after I had sketched them all out, I moved to the rest of my process of line art, coloring and shading, and adding some backgrounds. I actually kind of enjoyed making some of these backgrounds since it's not something that I've practiced a lot. Uh, some of them I like more than others. but it was a good learning experience for me, and I think I want to try and practice them more. I kept them fairly simple, so they wouldn't take away from the subject, but still tried to give the subject an environment that would help highlight things about the deity. For example, one of my favorite pages, pages is of the god Osiris. He's the god of the underworld. So standing behind him are all these glowing ghostly figures. Even though it's a simple background, it highlights the purpose of the god and I think the effects make it look eye-catching. Uh, so lastly, once I had created all of my artwork, I set up a document where I put everything together. I made sure I edited all my writing and added some final details. Uh, I made a cover and then I uploaded everything to Amazon. Uh, maybe I'll make a more in-depth tutorial if that's something you guys would be interested in. Um, so leave a like and a comment and let me know if you want to see that. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for watching and I'll leave a link to the book down below if any of you would like to check it out. And I will see you in the next video.